Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we're back to let's play Fell Seal, Arbiter's Mark on the PC. The last time, we took on a rather powerful uh, batch of enemies here in the Restful Stones. It was some Kawas that were rather dangerous, uh, some of those bird bastards, and then a bunch of uh, just random uh, peoples like a lich and a vampire and stuff. They hurt. They really hurt. And today our goal is going to probably just go to this Kapakawa jungle and see how that's going. I want to see if anybody here in Port Grendel says anything now that we defeated that Restful Stones thing. I guess not. I was hoping they might say something. Yeah, we don't have any uh, missions or anything like that. We've already built... Yeah, we've already built this up, haven't we? No, we have not built this up because this one is tiny, that's right. Uh... Eh, not sure what I need here, because none of this is going to actually be useful at the moment. I guess we could put on, like, Marketplace to get cheaper uh, buying stuff, but eh, frankly, I don't think it's necessary at the moment. Uh, we do want to go ahead and rearrange our classes, just to be on the safe side here, because War Mage for Kyrie has been maxed out, which worked out quite nice for her, actually. Uh, maxed out uh, War Mage Kyrie did pretty good. I think we'll probably put her as, like, a... Uh, Uh, I was going to say Reaver, but no, um, uh, Fellblade, you're good, du okay, I was going to say Duelist, but no, we already, we already maxed her out as a Duelist, uh, let's see, Beastmaster would be just average gross all around, this would give her some speed and some decent power, uh, let's see, Wrangler just gives pretty decent stat boost all around, but the problem is, you actually have to have beasts out in the field, so not as worried about that. And assassin would be good for, again, the attack and the speed, but I don't care for its abilities quite as much. She, she could be fun as a Beastmaster for a little while. Uh, Gadgeteer for just solid growths. Um, she gets a little more HP, defense, and resist. The, the primary appeal to the Assassin is the extra crit and speed from the Mastery bonus there. Let's see, Gambler... We, we could make uh, Kyrie a little bit of a wild card. Dagger and Spear. Let's see, a uh, Gadgeteer can use the Mace. Uh, we could have her finish maxing out the... Uh, the Knight or maybe the Templar class. That could work out pretty good. You don't need that much more to get uh, your max level there. I think I'll just make some uh, some of the backups into Mercenaries and send them out to get that last little level for her there. Peddler, traps, and usages. Again, not bad. Range could be good, but the... Uh, Ranger could be good, but a lot of her abilities aren't for like the uh, the marked class. None of them are like weapon range, so it doesn't help out as much as uh, I would like there. Samurai has nice stat growth, but again, the extra the the abilities are kind of eh. We could we could just make her suffer through it just to get the the stat growth and whatnot there. Here you're gonna be a samurai. There we go. Not my not my preferred, but it'll work eventually. All right, Stonebrand is gonna do Earth Element, so we're gonna try our best to instead give you the Forlorn Hope here that does not do Earth Element. Uh, and it gives us buffs. Okay, cool. I like buffs. Let's see, T-Right Shield is pretty good. This could be useful for some of her marked abilities, but not necessary. Uh, let's see, we could also see if we have anything. We lose attack in mind, we gain defense. And resist.
I'm gonna decide if I want to switch that out. Because, yeah, the attack in the, uh, the attack in the, uh, the mind is nice, but so is the extra defensive stuff. Yeah, let's just do that. Uh, soul armor, I think that's probably gonna be your. Yeah, your best bet right there. Uh, let's see, sapphire earrings, you're good on that. Okay, so you're okay, unless we can find a better sword for you. Uh, let's see. You have mastered the art of the assassin, so. You're also mastered the gunner. Trying to see if there's anything else we can do for you that would work out pretty good. Three point eight four, three point eight four point nine. So your Wrangler, Wrangler would be okay for just some nice average stat growth. Honestly, Beastmaster just has better stat growth now that I'm looking at it, except for the speed, really. I don't think you're necessary, necessarily in the need to master out the War Mage class. Templar would keep you slow, but it keep it give you some good power there. We're going to max out his uh, Spy Master class just to just to get it out of the way. Okay, you have your clip all. Okay, so we can still use our gun and then bullet infusion. So that, that can still work out pretty good. Yeah, the sooner we get this class mastered, the sooner I don't have to worry about it anymore. Alright, and then you're still earning dual stuff. Yeah, you're good. Okay, so... Plague Doctor, you're still earning your stuff. Princess, you're still going. And... Vampire, you just started. Alright. Let's go ahead and... Save. And let's take on our next story mission. Which hopefully unlocks some more uh, guild missions as well. That'd be nice. Have you and Kiria visited the uh, Kawalan's office? As you probably noticed by now, their main city is fairly remote, so not too many Arbiters choose to visit it. And this has left them without much Arbiter protection compared to other cities. Which is why Kiri has always made it a point to check on the area from time to time. Even though she downplays it, she's actually quite trusted by the Kawa elders. That does sound like Kiri, eh? Oh, hang on one second, I just realized something. You might have missed like half a second of them showing up around us. You get valuables, then leave. That's not the welcome I thought we'd be getting. These are not Gargon Body City envoys, but rather run of the Mill Bandits. There's an awful lot of them, though. I wouldn't be surprised if even more of them were on the way. They do like their swarms. If we're to catch up to Sigil, I think our best plan is to rush ahead. Agreed. Let's make a run for those lifts ahead. Wait, do we just have to escape this fight, or do we actually have to win? Kapakwa Jungle. Escape to the safe area. Okay. What do we got? Oh, there's a... Gatherable, and there's you, and uh, you, and I guess you're the uh, trapdoor. Um, escape points. So our goal is just to bum rush over here. I don't think these guys are going to be as dangerous as the ones we were fighting in our last mission, so we should be okay. Let's get to it. I don't know how many of these guys we're going to be able to... Actually, uh, I do want somebody to grab that tree, see what we get out of it. But I don't know how many of these guys will be able to, like, uh, enrage or anything like that. The more, the better.
let's try enrage on you. 65% chance. Okay, that works. Now I can deal with that. Wait a second, I thought you were still equipped on your gun. Reiner, you bastard. Because he has equip all, so he should he should be equipped to his uh, gun. I mean, it's not going to be a huge deal, but it's still mildly annoying. All right, martial spirit. Uh, that's actually doing a pretty solid amount of damage there. Good stuff. Good stuff. Rebirth. That's not my preferred. All right, uh, Lana, you grab this real fast. It's a noodle fruit. That wasn't as worth it because those are very common, actually. There might be a treasure around here that I didn't notice, as well as that guy, who I also didn't notice. And I didn't see this guy standing here, either. I did not see a lot of these guys standing here, actually. Eighty-three, just enough to kill you, but you're gonna revive, so that's fine. Good berserk. All right, uh, we might need to get Lana to uh, <clears throat> come come over the proper way here. That's probably just another Sinoodle fruit, right? Uh, yeah, I think I see. Uh, I think it's the same model, just minus... It just has the fruit on it still, since uh, we already cleared out the other one. And there is a treasure chest right there. Okay, gotcha. Falcon Flourish. Let's go. Good stuff. Goodbye, Mr. Naga person, individual, Ooh, cleave, let's go. Uh, I think we can probably take both of you guys out. Uh, let's see, with a vicious push, 140, not quite enough to take you out, but pretty close. Pretty damn close. Hey, you stole my phoenix ashes, you bastard. Okay, I can deal with that. I'd rather you not get him back into being alive, but we'll survive. Oh, you guys are all deft, so you're going to be specializing in item usage anyways. You bastards. Okay. Uh, let's get you... Yeah, we don't have enough, we don't have enough range to go anywhere there. Oh well. And I wonder which trap door is the one that's going to open. If, if it could be the one that he just stuck, uh, stepped off of right there. Yeah, okay. And it is another little cut. Okay, they both opened up. So we're just going to have tons of enemies here. We could probably kill them all, but that would take freaking forever, probably. So... I think our goal is just going to be to get to the... The exit strategy there. The more of these guys we can get enraged, the better. And then they just start attack their friends. That didn't work out quite as well as I'd hoped. Oh well. We'll survive. Alright, uh I'm assuming yeah, I'm assuming you guys can all swim. One fifty nine, or uh, let's see, thirty four doesn't. Okay, that doesn't do a whole lot, but this one definitely does. Let's do that. I think we already have defense down on ourselves. Yeah. Stop stealing my items, you bastard. Oh well, we'll survive eventually. Oh, I should have put you back on your boots. Yeah.
Try to get. Uh, we could try to get him to bleed, but this. Yeah, I mean, we don't have anything to take advantage of it right now with this guy. But the bleeding, if it worked, uh, would have been good for just extra damage. You guys are all weak to water, surprisingly. Or at least you are. Uh, yeah, you're just weak to water for some random reason. I will try to send Reiner after that treasure, but I'm not sure how well it's going to pan out. We might have to just come back for the treasure in a patrol mission, just because there's going to be so many little bastards coming up here from the traps and whatnot. Yeah, because you're going to get your turn, and then they're immediately going to put in, like, two more enemies here. You might steal an item again. Or shove. That works too, I guess. Did you just heal... Yourself, or did you heal me? I can't tell. You healed somebody, and I don't think it was me, actually, but oh well. You bastard. Yeah, we're gonna have to come back for that treasure later. There's just... Let's see, at the moment there are... One, two, three, four, five. There's like eight enemies on the fucking screen right here. So, probably a better idea. And you guys are all going for fucking Kyrie. You guys need to screw off. Wait, could I go one further or no? I don't think, yeah, I don't think I could. Yeah, that's as far as I can go. Because I need your boots back on. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we can't hit Kyrie. Yeah, let's, let's heal up uh, Reiner. We didn't need a heal two, but heal one has a lower range for some reason that I'm never quite sure of. Alright, uh, let's see if I can get... Who's our closest to being dead here? You? Okay. Seventy-seven, or how about a magic bullet? Ninety-two. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna. Don't think we're gonna kill you here. Uh, let's see. I could try Pandora's box. Yeah, that works. Sneak attack. Not quite enough to kill. Very close though. You, let's... Get this guy out of the way. Goodbye. And you are weak to... Oh, thunder. So, how about we go right about here. Actually, how... how close are you? 198, you're still full. Yeah, a lot of these guys are still just full. But, how about a uh, Thunder 2? Not quite enough to kill, but pretty close, actually.
He should be dead on the next turn. Also, I did not notice this guy down here. I don't know where he uh, ran off from, but, well, there he is. See, if I do a Thunder Burst, that'll hit, uh, let's see, it'll hit you for a little bit. It'll hit Kyrie. Uh, now nah, I think just a uh, yeah regular attack is good enough for you then. Fair enough. If it wasn't gonna hit, if it wasn't gonna hit the other two, I probably would have done it. But oh well. All right. Uh, let's see. I can't get behind you. Wait, can I? I can. That spells out certain doom for you. Let's see, you are weak to water, you said, right? Uh, yes. Oh, -ho, yeah. Goodbye, sir. Uh, you don't have swimming because you don't have any. Yeah, you do. Oh, you just, you just, you just can't reach over there. Okay. Uh, let's see, can I hit? I think we'd have to be, like, right next to the dude. Uh... Eh, good miss. Yeah, really, though, the, the fact that these flourishes don't cost any mana, that makes them quite nice, and they do plenty of damage. I think I've just been sleeping on this, uh class compared to just like the War Mage. But they both have their uses. Like you getting hit from behind. We might be able to run off towards that treasure chest then. If they stop killing my healer. I don't think she's ever going to get her turn. Oh, I'm kind of surprised this guy didn't go for Good counter. Another enemy has arrived. Yeah, they're, they're going down fast enough that it's not really a huge problem for us to just nuke them. So we don't need to revive anybody, I think. So we are set here. You face that way. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you guys can all swim. How's about. Look. 48 for you and 82 for you. Or we can enrage. No chance to enrage you. Plenty of chance to enrage you. Let's go. Berserk, let's go. Alright. Uh, let's see. You are about to die right now. One oh four. How's about wrathful blow? Ah, uh, you're barely not dying. Wow, you suck. Uh, how about a... Yeah, you're barely not gonna die, dude. You suck. Uh... I don't know how you're surviving with, like, one health. I think I've mentioned this before, but I like and dislike how, in this game, it tells you exactly how much damage your attack's gonna do. Because, like, in Final Fantasy Tactics Advance, it'd be like, oh, you're gonna do, uh, 74 damage, and then you would actually do, like, 68 or something like that, for some reason. 
Whereas here, you know you're going to get that exact number unless you miss, which is nice, but at the same time, it's like, you know you're not going to get that extra point of damage to finish him off, which is a shame, but oh well. Alright, let's go right here, and... Corrupted Blade on you. You are done, sir. And even if we don't kill this guy, it's going to come rather close. He's weak to water. Okay, yeah, he dies. Get wrecked. Alright, uh, Mr. Dylan Davis fused edge with a water burst on Mr. Sir here. Actually, we might just be able to water bolt him. Yeah, that works. Good crit. Good crit. And let's put you closer to the healer. That way they have a, hopefully a idea to attack you instead of the healer. Also, get countered. Yes. Fantastic. Looks like we will be able to go after the uh, treasure chest right now, then. We, okay, we get it. You don't like her having defense, but she has enough defense that your little weenie uh, defense down is not going to cause too many issues here. Alright, they're going to get another... Another fella here pretty soon. Alright, let's get another... Enrage going here. The more enrages, the better. No. Uh, you are going to die... Actually, hang on. If I do yay old Wrathful Beam, 51, and not quite enough to kill, that's a shame. Uh, let's see... Actually, this could still work. Ish. It could, but we could just do... this instead. I don't think the reinforcements are ever going to be the, uh... I don't think the reinforcements are ever going to be the... You're still, you're still surviving. Uh, I don't think the reinforcements are ever going to be the the Nagas here, so we don't have to worry about that. It's always going to be the little Kawas, it seems like. So that works out pretty well for us here. You're weak to thunder. You're not resistant to it, so... It's not gonna... It's not gonna kill both of you, that's a shame. Yeah, and you're gonna absorb it. So, I could kill this guy. Oh, okay, you're not gonna absorb it. But... Hey, let's just go with Thunder. A Thunder is probably our best bet right there. There we go. For some reason, I was thinking you were still surviving. I'm not sure why. But you were not, and that makes me happy. Hello, sir. Do you care to uh, get wrecked? You do. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, you are not going to survive at all here. Uh, let's try a water bolt. Actually, you know what? I think it's a regular attack would be perfectly fine. Yeah, unless we miss. Get crit.
Mass Heal 2. There we go. Fantastic. I love it. I do believe uh, Anodyne is going to be our MVP for this particular fight, if I had to guess. Because she is doing fantastic. Hopefully I can open this while I am underwater here, because if not, I cannot. Uh... Yeah, I think we need somebody with the uh, the floating uh, status in order to actually open that. Damn. We could grab the tree. Yeah, more some noodle fruits. Not necessarily useful, but they're there. Alright, uh, I think... I think we have enough height that we can do this. So, Wrathful. No, we don't. Okay. Uh, spirit Bow. Just get some of your... Let's see if this works here. Uh, overreach. 165. It's not going to kill you quite, but close enough. Or you can get a crit. Fantastic. Nice. We really need to find those floating boots or whatever it is that lets us get to the, you know, the floating stuff so we can actually grab these damn treasures. Okay, I think we've killed enough enemies that we can just go ahead and head towards the escape strategy here. So let's do that. Uh, actually, just for shits and giggles. You were supposed to kill him, but uh, if you chose not to, I can I can see your reasoning for that. I don't appreciate your reasoning for that, but I can see it. Oh, you're you're gonna end up in the water. Nah. Okay. We'll just head this way then. And actually, uh, fuse bolt, uh, fire or water burst, eighty nine percent. Perfect. Alright, dude. Uh, you are way the frick over here, and we need you to join everybody else's exit strategy here. Alright, uh. It's not gonna enrage you. It's not gonna enrage you. I'm just gonna go spry step to get haste so we get our turn faster. Alright, and you still need a little more to get your turn as well. That's a shame. Yeah, because we gotta get to those, uh... Those little, uh... Gazebos, or whatever they are. I think that's where, I think that's where we have to go. Okay, you guys are just going to revive everybody, which is fine, but it's not going to do a whole lot for you since, you know, we're all escaping. I think these are all where we're supposed to go, right? No? I think as long as we end up on the tile, we should be good, I think. Unless I'm missing something here. I 
I'm assuming we have to get everybody here and not just, you know, like Kyrie or something like that. I seem to be missing something, and I'm not sure what here. Reiner, you're not going to get your turn anytime soon, are you? Uh, no. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything like... That says, like, escape or anything like that. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we're on the escape points. As soon as Ryder gets on there, I think that might be... Good to go. I think in the other one where we had to escape, didn't we have to get just them there individually? I think it was. I don't remember. Because there was only like one or two that we had to do that, I think. One is like underground. I think this is potentially the only other one. Okay, there we go. You just had to get everybody there. But they could still be attacked, it seemed like, while they were waiting. Ooh, another crossbow and an energized crystal. Neat. Okay, that works. Uh, some noodle fruits treasure over there that we didn't get. Let me see if they gave us anything new at the guild here. They did. 7,000 GP and a ton of ability points right there. That is a lot. That'd be perfect for anybody that needs to get their classes going. Let's check on those actually. Let's see. You, uh, Mr. Plague Doctor, Mrs. Plague Doctor, I'm sorry. Uh, just grab that, just to have it. And then as a samurai, you are happy to grab the Razor Wind ability. Fantastic. Everyone wants to learn a Plague Doctor ability right now, I don't know why. Spy Master. But you got 500, that's pretty close. Shadow Step. Not, not that we need that, but it's there, so good stuff, I guess. You, uh, Duelist. Let's do Thunder. Oh, was, you don't want to learn uh, Plague Doctor abilities? No? Fair enough. Let's see, 175 for you. 250. Yeah, you still need 300 for that. I don't want to send anybody out on that 500 AP mission yet, because that'd be a waste of 500 AP until I put them in a different class for more ability points, I think. So... Oh, you only send out one person anyways. Alright, I need someone with a keen eye to scout out this area and help me fill in these empty places on my charts. One thing I cannot buy is a blank space on my map. Okay, so let's send out uh, the basics. And also... You, I guess. And yeah, somebody's gonna get 500. <laughs> Let me see if I can do this. Uh, guild upgrades, Kawa... Put you there, and then okay. Now I can put two people on there and get 500 AP for for that, uh, both of them. So that could be quite nice. Oh, we're not getting any AP out of this one at all. So we're gonna. I'll probably send him on a different mission uh, somewhere else real fast to grab some AP. I think it would be. Yeah, this one right here. That way they get enough to finish off their classes, put them in new classes, and then go from there.
Oh, we, we can redo this. That's nice. So we can redo it. Costs a hundred gold, and once we put on the thing that gives us a uh, full, I'm oh, sorry, 100, 100 AP or IP, and once we get the uh, thing that gives us full mission rewards, we'll get seven thousand gold out of it every time for a hundred IP, which is pretty nice. Because then we can just go to uh, where is it? That right there gives the 150 IP right there, so that's nice. Uh, I think they're 180 right here for... Okay, you get 30 more IP for like 600 more gold, or 300 more gold, which is not as great. Bake, you can uh, get a ton of influence points and money that way. But yeah, let's send out another patrol real fast. I'll be right back. Alrighty, we're just about done here. And there we go. Thank you, sirs. And... I still, I think Princess is still going to need a few more points. Yeah, she still needs a bit more. But you are done as a Plague Doctor, I do believe. Yeah, Poison Burst. There you go. And you got a... Uh, Vampire ability to learn there. Let's do Blood Nova. And execute. And then we'll get 500 points. We get like a uh, Blood Suck and Soul Suck and stuff like that. So that's not too bad. Because we'll, he'll, he'll be one of the ones that we send out, that's for sure. And then you only need what? Oh, you only need like. 50 more points anyway, so you're almost there. So. Alright, so for Plague Doctor, we're going to change you over to something. Let's see. Probably not Reaver. What do we want you as? Uh, Alchemistic is good for speed and everything else. Uh, let's see. Gadgeteer for the, gadgeteer for the, uh, even stat gross mender to give you some more healing opportunities, but really you just need the revive, so that's not too bad. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure what I want to send you out as. Yeah, I guess Alchemistic is better than nothing there. Alright. And let's send out Princess on a mission real fast. Just to get her... Set up there. Uh, not you. Uh... We'll send, we'll send about on the same one just to get it out of the way. All right, uh, alchemistic, princess, vampire, uh, peddler, and mender. There we go. And I'll be back again. Alrighty. Perfect. All right. You guys should have some new learned abilities again. Let's uh, go. Actually, a lot of you guys have stuff to learn. Uh, optimistic. Yeah, it's just stuff that, uh, we can just get in general. Okay. Uh, Pedler. Ooh, that's actually gonna work out quite nice for you. There we go. Same thing with you, Pedler. Let's grab that, uh, chance to crit. Mystic, you somehow didn't learn anything. No, you did not. Okay, that's fine. Uh, princess, let's grab that. Uh, actually, what is our what is our mastery bonus for this? Attack, mind, defense, and resistance plus five, and then I think I think that's holy defense uh, plus five. So okay, I can deal with that. I can deal with that. There we go. 
you, vampire. Uh, let's go. We'll hold on. We'll hold on to that because we can use it for. Um, we can use it for more abilities. Want to get that 500? I said you could learn something, but what, what can you learn? No, you. Okay. Uh, Templar. There we go. Grab that. You know, whoever we send out, they're going to give a pretty solid chunk of... Uh, what, what is it? Vicarious AP, so that'll be nice. There you go. Your master does a mender. Awesome. I love it. Alright, anybody else? Catch ya. You want to learn something there? Duelist. Actually, yeah, you could probably make a pretty good duelist if I thought about it. Peddler. There we go. Plague Doctor. Uh, make sure nobody can be healed, even though I never actually use it. I mean, it's not a bad ability. I just forget to use it. Uh, you. Oh, I have two of you guys. Huh. Eh. Yeah. Jack. Uh, grab the tear up for strong care. It's bueno. And, okay, I think you guys are good. Alright, so, Princess, we're going to change you into something else. I really do like the uh, Princess, like, abilities, but equip all and, uh, uh, so, for some reason I was thinking double cast was... Hang on a second. Okay, it is a passive. For some reason, I, for some reason I was thinking it wasn't a passive. I don't know why. Okay, uh, we want to put you on something to give you some more MP. We might just we might just have her go learn something real fast and then put her on something just to finish her class out. Pretty much, if you get what I'm saying. Uh, let's see. You'd get a extra MP, defense, or resist out of that. Reaver, you're fine. Princess, you're fine. Peddler. For stuff. Yeah, because a lot of the stuff for the uh, princess, or Lana here, she already has most of the stuff that we care about. Because we're not going to turn her into a physical character, pretty much, ever. So... We could do that for more defense and such. Uh, let's see what do I need to. I want you to get a chunk of AP to learn some good stuff here. And yeah, we're probably just going to change her back into like a... We'll probably change her into a different uh, job class just to... Actually, let's put her, let's put her on like Lady Luck. That's how we... Or Gambler. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, you already... You already mastered Gambler. Huh. I did not realize you mastered Gambler. Neat. So I want it to be useful to the other party members as well here. Uh, I guess Peddler maybe? No. Um, no, I guess we'll just put you on Sorcerer for the moment. Oh. Uh, okay. So. Yeah, I think Lana's may, uh, potentially done with excess classes. We'll just put her as... Princess secondary, and then something else, uh, primary. Alright, send out, uh, 
sorcerer and vampire. We didn't actually read the uh, description. Guess what? Moray is back. One of his fellows was abducted by a mysterious group making his lair in the deep jungle. And once again, Moray has graciously offered to be let a few of your folks accompany him. The specific threat remains nebulous, but it will definitely be a challenge and great experience for anyone who goes along. We get a hardened circlet. Uh, I don't know if we have one of those already. We might. Oh, that's a neat horned crown hat right there. Uh, do we actually have a hardened circlet? I don't know. I thought we did. But I'm apparently mistaken, so, you know. Unless it's an accessory that I didn't realize. No, I think it's just going to be a new equipment piece. Neat. And there we go. There's our mission. Fantastic. 500 ability points. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, you learn sorcery stuff of... Non-elemental varieties. Perfect. There you go. That's nice enough. And you got 700 to start working on stuff. Uh, let's see. Bloodsuck. That absorbs MP, so that could be good against, like, Zotzits or whatnot. Trying to tame them so they don't, uh... So they don't run away as fast. Sadly, the range is only one, apparently, but still. But this could actually give us a pretty decent way to recover his MP, so it's not too bad. Let's see, grab Soul Suck and... Charm is pretty close. Now let's just start getting the, the other stuff there. Okay, so... Lana, we're going to change you into... Some class. Let's see here. Uh, I'm tempted like Alchemistic, because... Let's see. That'll give us a little bit of healing if we do a buff or... On somebody right there. Um, that gives you more resistance as well. Uh, let's see. Gambler, I don't think your passives are what I care about. Uh, yeah, Blessed One and Mana Font from Mender are both nice. Double cast two. Honestly, we might just keep her as a princess. Yeah, I think princess would just be the best class to keep her as. Now that I'm thinking about it, because now she she can equip everything. She has the double cast, uh, smart casting, and mana font. Because what I really wanted to do was have a class that would still have the would still have the blessed one, or potentially. Uh, Uh, mind expert or something like that, which is nice, but equip all and double cast two are both pretty good abilities. Uh, speaking of which, let's try out that uh, hardened circlet. Uh, 15 HP, 10 mind, 18 defense, 24 resist. Uh, okay, you lose the physical attack, but you would gain more defense, more HP. You would lose 20 MP, but frankly, since I don't think we're ever going to actually get up to 200 MP, I think we could survive. Um, we'd lose the two points of speed. And it's not bad. I, th I think I do. I think I do like her current hat, so we'll survive on that. Um, this will give you slightly less HP, but it gives you mind. See who else? Uh, you probably don't care about it. You definitely don't care about it. You don't care about it. Uh, Desert Cow. This could just be a solid upgrade for you. 270. Yeah, okay, let's give it to uh, you right there. Uh, Mr. Hardened Circlet there. 
And while I am here... Oh, actually, True Flight only has like one, rest, one less range than uh, Long Barrel, and has the attack as well, so hey, we'll survive right there. Right, anybody else trying to learn anything here? No. Yeah, I, I mean, I might send Lana out and some missions as other classes to get like those stat boosts and whatnot, but yeah, having her just as like a princess and mender is a pretty good combo. Um... Except, I might want to change her secondary class. Because, yeah, Holy Magic is great, but we have Heal 2 and Mass Heal 2 over here for Holy or Healing. Whereas, if we put her on something like. Uh, like Soul Magic or something, we could have, like, the, uh, the buffs and whatnot. Or Treatment, we could have. Uh, not quite as good healing and whatnot, but still decent enough. Let's see, 1.1 uh, around the character. So how much does a uh, mass heal do? Oh, uh, one. Okay. And then... Eh, no, I think we'll just keep you as a uh, pure healer right there. Holy usually does pretty good damage for the, the killing stuff. Okay, there we go. Uh, we got another mission done. We got... People all buffed up there in their classes. Uh, next episode, we will probably uh, go do another uh, story mission. Unless I, I wonder if there's ever going to be more... Um, like... Tournaments or whatever. I thought, they, I thought those would come up every once in a while, but they have not. So, either way, uh, we'll probably just go do another story mission next time. So, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.